Oh. Oh, Say hi. 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 Hey, Cider Crusaders. I heard a, a story this morning that I really wanted to, to share with you. It's about the power of a handshake and, and the importance of your word. The story meant a lot to me. I, I hope it will to you as well. Uh, this morning, we talked to the author of a new biography about the richest man you've never heard of, Kirk Kerkorian. Maybe you have. I've never heard of him. I love rags to riches stories. And, and this is an incredible one. I can't believe I've never heard of this guy. So he was born to immigrant uh, uh, parents in Fresno, immigrants from Armenia. Uh, Kirk learned to read or learned to speak English on the streets of LA. This is early 1900s. First job at nine years old to provide for the family. Um, eighth grade dropout at a school for delinquents. Amateur boxer turned World War II fighter pilot. Uh, after the war, he started an airline and then sold it, made some money, ended up buying MGM Studios and a bunch of hotels in Vegas and a bigger airline, ultimately net worth $20 billion before he gave billions of it away. Just a fascinating man. I'm going to put a link to this biography on, uh, on this video and, and on Twitter and all the rest um, so you can uh, buy the book. Uh, but here's one story that caught my attention from the biographer. Kirk was a man whose word was his bond. He had no patience for lawyers or paperwork. It was all about the handshake, and that was everything. And he expected his, um, his employees to have that same level of integrity as well. So he was trying to sell the Desert Inn in Las Vegas, a big hotel in Vegas. His number two man made a deal with a buyer. And this number two guy, his name was Alex, he was very happy, made a great deal. Until the next day, when another buyer came into his office and offered almost twice as much for the hotel. So he's thinking, geez, I, I said I would sell it to this guy and, and, I, and, then, and now this guy's coming in for twice as much. So he called Kirk and he told him what was going on and Kirk said, well, didn't you make a deal with the, the guy yesterday? And the number two guy said, well, yeah. And Kirk said, well, then why are you even calling me? It didn't matter that the price doubled, that he could have made twice as much money from the deal. Nothing was worth going back on his word. I've had some experiences in my life where I said yes to one thing, one event, but then a better offer came along, right? Something at the same time or whatever. And, and I've not made the right choice in the past. And this story just really spoke to me. I'm never going to forget it because nothing is worth sacrificing your word. Uh, you know, Jesus says in Matthew, um, uh, let what you say be simply yes or no. Right? Let it be yes or no. Ben Franklin said, never keep borrowed money uh, an hour beyond the time you promised. Right? It's just, it's all about keeping your word. I'll never forget this story from Kirk Kerkorian.